Hey Playa, is there someone that you like and that you want to go out with, but the main problem you're running into is that they're not allowed to date? Well, that's the question that baby Caspel asked me when he said, So, I have a crush on this girl, but she isn't allowed to date. Could you make a video explaining what to do in the time that your crush isn't allowed to date? No problem, I'm going to cover that. That's a question I get a lot, so I really want to give you guys an answer. This is the Just Beats, you're watching the Just Beef. For those of you that are new, my name is Josh, and every single Monday through Friday, I make videos here sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. And one of the main reasons why people generally are not allowed to date is because of their age. If you're in middle school right now, or even in high school, one of the main reasons why people can't date is because their parents feel that they're not ready to jump right into it. Now I've done a video in the past all about approaching your parents and having that conversation to get them to let you start dating. But the issue here may be that the person that you like's parents won't let them date either. And if that's the case, the person that you like is just simply not allowed to date, what can you do in the meantime? Well, what I would honestly suggest is work on building a friendship. I like to draw a distinction between dating and being in a relationship. When you're dating someone, you can just simply be casually hanging out with them and talking to them. And when you're in a relationship, you're choosing to be committed to that one person. So generally, when parents prohibit you from dating, they're talking about going out on dates and being romantically involved with one other person. But that doesn't mean that you can't work on building your social skills and communicating with that other person to the point where you two can really be on that super friendly level. Just because a person is undateable in that moment, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't pursue them. Now you might be thinking, well, that's a waste of my time. Why am I gonna invest time and energy into someone that at the end of the day, I just can't go out with. I would say that your time is an investment, but the same way that you wouldn't have a best friend overnight, you need to see where you guys find common ground, where you overlap, and how you guys connect over time to really solidify that best friend status. It's the same thing here with people that you like. You aren't just gonna find someone that you like instantly connect with them and want to start dating immediately, finding a good partner goes well beyond just wanting to date someone in that moment. Investing time, getting to know them, and really seeing where you guys connect is key. So if they're not allowed to start dating yet, well, you have that time to invest. Another thing to keep in mind is that you don't have to limit yourself to only one person here. If that person is not allowed to date, that's fine. You could still talk with them, you could still communicate, and on the side, you can still look for other people to go out with. If you're not in an exclusive relationship, no one is bound to one partner. But if you do start to develop romantic feelings for one person in particular, and it just so happens they're not allowed to start dating, well, at that point, you could start to figure out with them when they are allowed to start dating, what are you guys going to do? Think about it like this. Let's say that person's parents say that they're not allowed to start dating until they're maybe 16 or 17 years old, and you're nowhere near that age right now. Well, if you spent those years developing a connection with them and their parents see that, well, their parents may be a little bit more lenient and let them start dating at 15 even. If the other person's parents see that you two are really developing that bond with each other and it's not just some willy-nilly relationship that came out of nowhere, then they're gonna be a little bit more understanding in the process. So, like I said, that investment of time can really help here. I also made a video in the past about how to win over a person's parents, so you definitely should check that one out. But the question does eventually come up. Should we have a secret relationship that the parents don't know about? This is a Bit of a tricky one to answer. I don't really want to say yes or no here, so let me break it down. If by having a secret relationship, you mean you use the title of girlfriend and boyfriend when you're in school or just when you're around each other, then I really see no problem with that. But if your parents have set rules that they don't want you to start going out on dates or even being romantic with someone else, then I think that's when you shouldn't pursue it. All in all, there's no easy answers to any of these questions. And the best thing that you can really do and the person you like can do is to talk to your parents to work things out, to understand where each other are coming from, and maybe from there, you guys can decide on new rules going forward. What do you think though? Do you like someone that isn't allowed to start dating? Leave your comments below and we'll talk about it. Before you head out, I want you to know that if you have a question that you wanna ask me, and you wanna do it in a little bit more of a private setting and out, out in the open in the comments, you can always shoot me a DM over on Snapchat or Instagram. I do my best to answer as many messages as I can over there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the videos I have listed over there on the side, I talk more about parents and dating and how to kind of navigate that whole tricky subject of getting your parents to allow you to start dating. It's not an easy one, guys, but I think I can help you out. I'll catch you guys next time. As always, love and peace.